So, welcome back to Kansas Reality. We're not gonna speak all pretty and cute. We're gonna be real and say the real things. When I make cute videos and stuff, you all don't wanna hear it. You all wanna hear the real rat truth. You all don't care if I use my phone or an expensive camera to record my stuff. Because I have, you know, I have all the... I, so let me just talk on here, just because. Listen, here's the deal. We're gonna talk about something very serious. I don't wanna confuse nobody. But I'm telling you right now, straight up. You cannot treat a man who is operating from his ego the same as you treat a man who is operating from his spirit. You hear me? You can't treat them the same. The man who's operating from his ego lives by different rules from the man who operates from his heart or from his spirit. And when you are with these men, Life is different. You can't treat them the same. See, some of you all women are treating them the same. You are treating a man and his ego the same as... Because you all don't know any difference. You think that you should treat all men the same. No, you can't. You can't handle all these men the same because, again, they operate from different places, different chakras, different spiritual experience, different energies. Like, for instance, I'm just be real. A man who is operating from his ego, you can't give him one of you. You have to keep it mysterious. You have to be a little resent, you know, a little resistance. You know, have a have a little resistance. You have to give him some smaller time to have him come back for more. You know what I mean? You can't just submit to that man like that. Because then you can't be too nice and too kind and too loving all the time. Because once he gets you there, he gets bored. The challenge is up. You can't give the man all your, you know, he will never, he can't. He he is he wants to he sees what he wants to see he goes for what he wants to and he's never satisfied. The ego is never satisfied. The ego is never satisfied. It's a place where you operate from, where you are always stimulated by your eyes, by your smell, by your senses. What feels good, what sounds good, what looks good, everything stimulates him. So you can never be too sure. And what keeps him there is resistance. What keeps a man in his ego there is for you to play a little hard to get. It's for you to be, you know, a little hard. It's for you to challenge him a little bit. It's for you to do a little distance. It's for you to don't give him all the time that he wants or he asks for. And you might call it game. This is not game. People operate from different places. And it's not, it's not that they know any better. It's just what they do. It's just what they've seen. It's just how they grew up. They don't know that they're doing it. You know, they don't know that their actions or their desires is coming from that place, from their ego. But a man operated from his heart chakra or from his spirit, from his soul, is different. He doesn't want to play games. He doesn't want to fight. He, he, you know, he, he doesn't want resistance. You know, a man from his ego, if, if he cheats on you and he tried to come back and you take him back, he going to do it again. A man from the spirit, yeah, he might do some mistakes but he's not trying based on his ego. He's not trying to come back only because you don't want him. See, a man from his ego will come back and try again and leave and come back just to make sure that you want him. And he will cause arguments just to make sure that you still care. And he wants to be stimulated, his senses. A man from his spirit, he will actually love you as you, the way you are. He don't want to prove no points. He ain't got to be stimulated. He's not easily stimulated outside. He's, all, he's already there. He's already at a place where he's the man that he wants to be. He's kind. He's loving. He's understanding. He communicates. Nothing that you do changes that. A man from his ego, he's based on outside world. He's based on what you do, what you say, how you say it. Everything is based because his ego is always outside of him. He's always need to be stimulated. He's always changed. He's always in his feelings. He's always in his emotions. A man who's operating from a higher frequency or from a spiritual frequency, he is not that easily stimulated from the outside. He's already fully aware on the inside. So therefore, he knows what you need. He knows that, you know, you don't have to be resi um, resistant for you to want, I mean, for him to want you. He knows that you don't have to play games for him to want you. He knows that you don't have to leave. He knows that he doesn't have to leave and come back just to prove a point. He knows how to communicate better. You can't treat a man who's operating from the ego and from the and you know what is different you how can you tell when he's operating from his ego how can you tell listen the games the woman in his inbox they always he leaves and his comeback he he, he he pisses you off then he you know he, he finds his way back in he knows how to stimulate your mind and 
how to say the right things and then he stops and he he you know he stopped trying and he leaves and he comes back. That's the ego. That's survival. He has a survival instinct. He knows what to do because he's constantly doing it. He has practice. A man who operates from, from a higher frequency, they are calmer. They are more in tune with you, in tune with themselves. They understand you better. They don't have to, you don't have to do anything much for them to want you. You ain't got to do all this extra stuff. You ain't have to jump from the ceilings and land on his pee-pee just for him to want you. You have to know who you're dealing with. You have to know who you choose because you cannot choose, you cannot treat those two different men the same way. If you learn that, if you learn this, you will actually save you from a whole lot of heartaches. Some of you all love a man from his ego because the man in his ego, the way how he dressed, the way how he speaks, the way how he acts, the way how he, he, he has all these options, the way how he has all the choices, the way how he, he talks to you and he acts like he doesn't want you. Based on his, yeah, his, his, his ego is strong. If you tell a man you know, who operates from his spirit that he doesn't want you, he, he stopped trying. You tell a man on his ego that, that you don't want him, he tried just to prove his point. You have to know, man. Know who you are with. Know who you are dating. Know who you are being with. Know who you are sleeping with because it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's never going to be the same. Understand. Until he, until he goes to the spiritual experience, good luck. The ego, you have to, you know, if you like having fun and you like being resistant and he cheats and you don't take him back as soon as he cheats and you wait and you make him pay and you make him sweat and you make him, you know, try harder, then he is in the place where he wants to be, in the place where he needs to be. That controlling place where you control his behavior, his movement. He want to be controlled. It doesn't look like it. But unconsciously, he wants to be controlled because that's his challenge. That's the way how you challenge the ego. You control it. You stimulate it. You make him ask. You make him beg. That's how you stimulate it. Even when you don't, even when you don't go towards what he wants, he tries harder. The more you resist, the more harder he comes. The more you resist, he comes harder. The more you distance yourself, the more closer he comes. That's his ego, trying to get stimulated, trying to make be relevant. The man in spirit, the man who operates from a higher frequency, you go, he go on too. Because he knows that he can, he know, he don't need to be stimulated. He knows who he is. He don't need proof of who he is. He don't need proof of how great he is. He don't need proof of his ego. Different. I'm just saying. Think about what I'm saying. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.